Didn't you read the sunglasses survey? There's a fine line between looking like a celebrity and looking like you're trying to look like a celebrity. I.e. looking like a twat. And to be honest, wearing sunglasses inside when it's been raining outside is on the twattish side of the... Shit. What happened? One straight guy, too many asked whether I bought from the nursery or the pavilion end. So you hit him? No. I gave him a piece of my mind. And he hit you? Yes. But I hit him back. You were in a fight? He came off worse. So what's he wearing this morning then? A beekeeping hat. Where did you disappear to this morning? Fucking hell. He's been in a fight. I went to A&E to get checked out. I was worried my retina would come loose. Really? So that bang in the middle of the night, that wasn't you tripping over and smacking your head on the coffee table? No. That was me smacking my leg on the coffee table. I could hardly see out of this eye at all last night. I wish you wouldn't keep rearranging the furniture. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to doubt you. Of course you've been in a fight here. Let's have a look at that poor little eye of yours. Oh, so what's this then? If that's dandruff, you've got problems. It looks like a bit of pencil sharpener. Mm. Smell it. Perfume. It smells like my nan's bog. Exactly. Potpourri. Potpourri from the bowl on my coffee table. I was in a fight. Once. Room, please, Nadia. Four coffees in the conference room, please, Nadia. Have you emailed me? What? Well, didn't you read Davina's memo? All requests have to be emailed to me so I can allocate my time efficiently. What? And someone's emailed you asking you to type out a transcript of the Radio One morning show. I don't make the rules. Is Nadia getting the coffee? Do you really need me to answer that question? I'm going to collapse if I don't get some caffeine. Well, they do say that being punched by a heavyweight is like having a television thrown at you, so a coffee table must be at least, I don't know, light middleweight? <laughs> Have we got any statistics on blood donors? Like what? I don't know. How old are they? What do they do for a living? Why they don't run screaming from the room the moment they see the nurse lurching towards them with that fucking great needle? Maybe they're mostly blind. Maybe we should put being a blood donor on the list. Nah, I'd give it once a month anyhow. It's more than enough for me. There's no way I'm giving blood. I faint at the sight of dry skin. I think you're being a bit selfish, tough guy. What if you needed a blood transfusion yourself? Imagine if you'd been attacked by a glass coffee table. <laughs> I knew you'd be up here. No chances of being rushed by the filing cabinets up here. And if the water dispensers decide to gang up, you'll be able to see them coming. Don't push it. Why not? What are you going to do? Trip over and bang your head on me? <laughs> I really have punched someone. Yeah, I'm sure you have. I believe you. But there's a grown-up. Yes. This bloke followed me home from the pub once. I knew he was after me and I was too legless to run for it. So I hid behind a corner and punched him out before he had the chance to jump me. I broke all the knuckles in my right hand. My hero. Really? Really. Only, it turns out I'd slightly misread the situation. I dropped my wallet on the way out of the pub and he was trying to return it. So what did you do? Well, I felt so guilty. I went out with him for a couple of weeks. I found a quick snog normally suffices. What? You've punched someone too? Every time I drink gin. It's sad, really. What is? These two have both had to resort to physical violence. Oh. You do realise how inadequate that makes you, don't you? How uncivilised. I punched someone once. It's almost like you're a different species. You haven't evolved. I punched someone too. You still think punching someone is acceptable? I've it's... punched someone too. You know how sometimes when you're on the top of a really high building, you feel like there's some kind of magnetic force trying to make you jump off? Well, this time I jumped. Falling on top of someone isn't the same as punching someone. I was talking to this bloke, he was really nice. Didn't have a bad thing to say about anyone, and then suddenly, this thought entered my head. Wouldn't it be just the most dreadful thing in the world? As he was going on about how lovely everyone was, 
if I just smacked him one in the mouth. I tried to get the thought out of my head, but it just kept getting bigger and bigger until I had no choice. It was either hit him or explode, so I hit him. You think I'm mental? No, I have those thoughts too. Only I normally end up kissing old men with crusty bits in their beards. Yeah, and I can't resist flicking the back of children's ears, particularly fat girls. Morning. Morning. You got home safely last night? Yes, thank you. Because we live in a violent society. I know. But don't worry about me, I've done a self-defence course. Yeah, but you've never actually hit anyone. Well... Yes, but it, it was in self-defence. Well... I've been thinking. Punch someone. We should add punch someone to the list. What happened to... You do realise how inadequate that makes you, don't you? How uncivilised. Yeah. And it's almost like you're a different species. You haven't evolved. <laughs> well, there's punch someone and punch someone, isn't there? There can be something really honest about punching someone. It cuts the crap, gets straight to the point. Punch can really put someone in their place. Someone like a sexual fantasist who lives with his mum. <laughs> or a hypocrite. Go on, you're beginning to convince me. I wanted to punch someone a lot of times, but I've never had the courage before. There's nothing courageous about punching someone. You're only saying that because you've already ticked it off your list. Why should punch someone be something you should do before you're 30? Because if you do it before you're 30, you're a rebel, fighting for what you believe in, not afraid of the consequences. If you do it when you're over 30, you're a sad old git who's lost the argument and can't think of anything else to do apart from resort to physical violence. Go on then. She won't even hear you coming. You want me to hit Nadia? It'll be for her own good. Just because she tries to get out of running errands for you? It'll be a real wake up and make the coffee moment for her. <laughs> what about Janet? No. She's got more of a slap me face. Hey. Hey. Hi. So, what's happening? Dominic's looking for someone to punch. Very grown up. Not talking about me, I hope. No. How about no? What about that janitor bloke then? Something creepy about him. You've just been watching too much Scooby Doo. Can we get back to the figures? Hey, what about that wanker in IT? He could do with a punch. Might stop him thrusting his groin out every time he says hard drive. It doesn't have to be someone from the office. There are 56 million people in this country to punch. Yeah, but you're not going to go to Cornwall to punch someone, are you? It might be quite difficult to punch someone in prison. Unless you did it at visiting time. Hi. I've got a handout for you from Davina. We're in the middle of an important meeting here, Derek. Couldn't you just put them in our pigeonholes? I'm sorry, but Davina insisted I get these two personally. She's restructuring the whole way stationery is distributed across all levels of the business. Now we have to send Nadia emails when we want stationery too. Well, it'll save the company a lot of money. Now people won't just be taking stationery from the stationery cupboard they don't really need. And they won't be using stationery to request stationery either. Davina, of course. It's been staring us in the face right along. Punch Davina. Shit. Well, she hasn't punched that bloke already. She needs to be told that there are more important things in life than stationery. I can't punch Davina. She's a woman. OK. We'll have to punch Derek, then. It's not his fault. He's just her assistant. You can't kill the messenger. But if you did, you wouldn't get any more annoying messages. He's only obeying orders. I never heard that before. When you said it to me? No, I didn't. When? When Celia told the bearded cleaning lady off for smoking in the toilets. You're not allowed to smoke in the toilets. We never smoke in the toilets. We don't have beards. Well, Zoe's got a furry sheen and the right light. And Dominic's got... No, actually, he hasn't. So, your point is that bearded people should be allowed to smoke wherever they want? My point is she has a beard. She spends her whole life cleaning toilets. 
The sooner she dies of lung cancer, the happier she'll be. And she's a man. I rest my case. You can do it. I don't think this is a very good idea. Well, it was your idea. Oh, it was nice. They punched a vino. Oh, please. He doesn't need this. Disagreements in his own camp are not going to help. Look, if you're worried about looking him in the eye, just hide around a corner and thwack him as hard as you can as he walks past, OK? OK. Well, then, break your nose. wanted to say that some people are, are getting a little bit fed up with with all this stuff about stationery. Well, what do you mean? I mean, there's more to life than stationery. Stationery doesn't get anybody anywhere. Well, would you like me to pass that on to Davina? Or would you like to fill out an office suggestion form? Maybe I don't want to waste stationery. Maybe. This is something you and I can sort out here and now, man to man. No, I think a company away day is a great idea. I'll, uh, I'll email Davina about the other thing. Catch you later. If I'd punched him, I'd have got the sack. He does look bigger when you close up. Uh, that's called perspective. I think he might wear contact lenses too. Anyhow, you can't just hit someone because they're frisky for staplers at the end of the day. I need to find someone who obviously just isn't open to rational argument. And someone smaller than you. Someone who's so stupid that a punch is the only thing they're going to understand. Even better than that, someone who's so stupid a punch is the only thing they're going to understand and who's just had a stroke. Someone who can only communicate by blinking would be ideal. <laughs> What are you looking at? I said, what are you looking at? What, me? Nothing. Do you have a problem with me drinking on my own? No, of course not. Do you know why I'm drinking on my own? Do you know why I'm drinking on my own? No. Because if I wasn't, I might be drinking with a tosser like you. <laughs> and do you know what would be even worse than that? Do you know what would? No. Having to make conversation with a tosser like you. <laughs> what? He's obviously one of those blokes who gets a kick out of being beaten up. I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. What? You think I should have hit him just because he insulted me? What kind of a life do you think I'd lead if I hit everyone who insulted me? Not that people insult me often. Of course, if he'd insulted someone I loved, Katie or someone, then... It's like the beginning of a joke, innit? A bloke came into a pub and there was this tosser, this scrubber, this dried up old spinster, this puff, and... Why am I talking to you, wankers? What? I don't love you, lot. I said Katie or someone. I'll get you a gin. I didn't mean I didn't love you. I do love you. Of course I love you. Not like I love Katie, of course. Not that Katie lets me love her all that often at the moment. Well, if you call it loving her, I'm not surprised. Try asking her for a shag. Really? Maybe it's not gin. Maybe it's whiskey. I'm just too pissed to remember. You should save a little sick sample and sniff it in the morning. And you should write one of those handy household hints books. Maybe I will. <laughs> What was I thinking? Why did I ever listen to you? I must have been mad. What's so great about punching someone? Punching someone's a cowardly thing to do. It's something drunks do. All mad people. Cheers. Punching someone it is just adding to the world's misery. We're young. We should be making the world a better place, not punching people. We should be doing something brave, something chivalrous, something, I don't know, something noble. Why can't we put, do something noble on the list? OK, sounds good to me. I've already done something noble. Like what? I went out with that bloke I punched. That's not noble. Yes, it is. You smell like an old Labrador. 
And he used to say something unfunny and then say not at the end of it, thinking that made it funny. And I kissed all those men with crusty bits in their beards. Can't call that noble. I think you might be right. You couldn't help yourself. That would be like rewarding someone with multiple personality disorder for doing impressions. All right, then. I once gave a hand job to someone with no arms. That's impossible. No, he had no arms. Well, that makes more sense. Only Florence Nightingale had been alive to see that. That's the sort of thing they should be giving OBEs for. What? You're accepting it? Giving a hand job to someone with no arms is noble. Would you do it? Oh. You must have done something noble. Well, I suppose it depends how you define noble. I buy Katie flowers and chocolates. How original! You can tell the spark's still there in your relationship. You want a definition of noble? Doing something noble must mean doing something where there's nothing in it for you. Oh, must it? So you've never done anything noble? Well, not according to your definition, no. No. <clears throat> no. No. Okay. So it has to be something that involves effort too. How about I punch you and then go out with you? Okay. Help an old lady across the road. Not big enough. Not even a really big old lady. Mm. Help her across the road, then change her nappy. You don't know any armless women, do you? Give blood. There's nothing in it for me. It takes effort and it's, well, it's quite big. Haven't you read the information for compiling the questionnaire? Most doctors agree that giving blood can be beneficial for your health. So you're getting something out of it too. So basically, in today's society, you can't do anything noble. Everything you do has some kind of selfish ulterior motive. There must be something. What about those people that go to a manage to look after those duff children? No, they just want television documentaries made about them. Hmm, what about organ donors? You know, bloke gives his kidney to his son who looks like a banana. Wants to be in the papers. Yes, but what if he's only got one kidney? He'd die. Exactly. So you couldn't say he was doing it for selfish reasons. Great. So the only way I'm ever going to be able to do something noble is to give away both my kidneys and die. Oh, I think anything involved you dying would probably do. I'm not sure. Because if you died, you'd only be dying so as you'd be able to tick do something noble off your list. So wouldn't that still be a little bit selfish? Fucking hell. I need a drink. Uh, a whiskey and... Uh... Another whiskey. Were you looking at me? Have you got a problem with me drinking on my own? No. Do you know why I'm drinking on my own? No. Because everyone else in this place is a tosser. Apart from you, Lise. You're very attractive. Thank you. Your breasts in particular. I like a woman with breasts. Especially when one breast is slightly lower than the other breast. Would you mind if I uh, slipped my hand inside your... Actually, I don't think that's such a good idea. I wasn't asking you, Tosser. I know you weren't. I just don't think that's how you should behave. I don't care what you think. Thank you. But I think I can look after myself. Oh. Okay, I just... Okay. Does that mean I can? No. If you had to sleep with a woman, which would you rather? A really good-looking one or one with a beard because she looks more like a man? Well, if I had to, I'd prefer the good-looking one with a beard. My hands don't smell. Smell them if you want. No, it's OK. I can go and wash them if you like. There's no need. Actually, I don't think that that's such a good idea. Yeah, I know what you mean. He's a bit of a passion killer, isn't he? Let's go back to your place. I haven't finished my drink yet. 
Hey, you can't just pull women around. Let go of me! I told you, I can handle it! Yeah, mind your business, Tosser. This is my business. No, it's not. He was dragging you off. I can look after myself! Well, you obviously can't. I'm telling you, I can! Oh, Christ. I'm so sorry. So you've emailed them? I've emailed her from home. Could just get her own coffee. No. no. Well, if it isn't the new Mike Tyson. I was just trying to do the noble thing. What, by hitting a woman? I didn't mean to. It was instinct. But you hit women instinctively. Still, you shouldn't have just let her beat you up like that. Why didn't you run away? I felt I deserved it. I just punched her. It was self-defence. She was trying to hit you. Anyway, it wasn't really a punch. It was more of a push. No, I'm afraid it was a punch. No, technically a punch is with the fist, not with the flat of the hand. You can punch with the flat of the hand in kickboxing. It doesn't matter anyhow. Punching a woman doesn't count. That's just cowardly. You all wanted me to punch Davina. Well, Davina's not a woman. Davina is the devil in office manager's clothing. Well, OK, then. It was noble letting her beat me up. No, it wasn't. It was stupid. Well, I bore the pain nobly. <laughs> you whimpered like a baby. Oh, and a baby can't be noble. No. To be noble, you have to be selfless, and a baby doesn't have a sense of self. Are you saying the baby Jesus wasn't noble? Oh. Haven't you seen those paintings? He could do that peace gesture thing with his fingers before he could walk. Oh, I'm sorry, that really annoys me. That's what really crappy arguers do. They either bring Jesus or Hitler into it. He didn't bring Hitler into it, you did. He brought Jesus into it, which doesn't count because Jesus wasn't human. Jesus wasn't human? What was he then? He was half human, half god. No, I think you're getting your Disney movies confused. That was Hercules. So, who was it who wanted a coffee? You see, that's the other thing crappy argues do. They make up stupid jokes to make people forget what they were arguing about. Who was that? Shit, what were we arguing about? <laughs> 